Hello everyone and welcome again back to our Empire Total War with Darth Vader Let's Play for the Pirates. We are back here once more, another week. New new trials await us in the uh, in the Caribbean Sea. We are in a bit of a predicament at the moment because France has taken all of our land stuff in the north so we're um, retreated south and I th the game plan is to get the guy on us basically uh, I can't remember where our army is at the moment do I get to move it out? Ah, it is, oh it's here in the capital ah, I forgot about that yeah we were just healing it up before going for the Guyanas. Hopefully we don't get any kind of naval invasions like the ones that we just had in the north on any of our islands because it's, it would be very hard to defend them. Really. But let's uh, end this turn and see what happens. Alright, let's see what's happened. Where is this? Oh, in New Spain we still have a spy. Around here, let's see if he can assassinate the uh, scholar here. See what happens. Oh, my agent was executed. It's a shame. All right, well we've lost him. Trait gained. Oh, uh, that was that was the guy who just got in there. He's now dead. Well, that was helpful. Um, doesn't look like. Or at least we haven't seen the French for a little while, which I'm going to take as good news. Um, our army is still healing up in our port, and now that we've got our our trade routes up, it has it is becoming a bit of a problem because we're losing quite a lot of income from our trade routes getting raided. Hmm. It does mean building plantations and things that actually it's worth doing now. I think what I might do, however, is just um, keep all the gold I have on me because I don't want to run out because we are only making 500 a turn, which is it's back to the start levels, really. It's really far back. Um, but hopefully in a couple of turns army will be fixed. Alright, another turn gone. Traits gained by somebody. Three bottle man. Right, this man's wine merchant is comfortable. Wealthy. Right, oh it's an admiral. Yeesh. I think our admiral here in this navy has become a little bit drunken. Yeah. Damn it! All right, here we go. Our uh, our army is ready now, so I can put the guys put the army on board the ships. We can go for the Guyanas. I don't think it will matter if the French still have an army there. So we're going to go for the French Guyana first, because last we checked, they didn't have much of a garrison there. Oh, that is a French fleet. I hope they didn't see us going past, although they probably did because they're AI. Forward. Commence siege. Oh, surrender, damn it. Alright, um, I think I might auto resolve this. So let's see what happens. Strength yes! Victory. Alright, so we gain that battle. without having to go into a fight, which is always pretty nice, and that has increased our income. From 500 to 800, which is a good boost. Good boost. Um, and I think next turn, because we're fixing up the dock and everything, it'll be even more. I do want to watch out for this navy though. Because that does look like a strong navy. Yeah, put a lot of fourth rates in there. Hmm. 
least down here, yeah, down here we have a dockyard. The problem we have is that we haven't been able to get a town, because we had a chance with Philadelphia, but none of the towns grew while we were there. So we haven't actually had a single town yet, which is slightly worrying because of how far behind we must be getting. It's, what, 25, 50 turns in, basically. And we still haven't had a proper schoolhouse at all, so we can't research anything. So, open battle is not going to be our forte, I'm afraid. End the turn. Let's see what happens. Let's see what the French do. Hopefully nothing. They've done nothing. Yes, that's good. And it looks like our trade here between the Guyana and our capital is going up as well so we're going to be gaining some cash next turn alright turns ticked over yeah we're making quite a lot of money out of that now yeah we're making th over a thousand gold per turn have the French moved away from here? I don't think they have no they haven't your right. Oh, they've moved. Do his duty. They've moved their fleet inside there. Ship's I'm move mine inside there because I don't want to risk anything overly bad happening. Still so we've got 20 from repression because of our garrison forces, but the happiness is 25. So we're not. We're going to be okay if we move our army out of here immediately. But I think I want to keep it there. Probably just for one more turn to let it completely recuperate because we are going to need it fighting against these cavalry units in the Guyana. That is going to be a bit of stress. We're only making 1,350 on all our trades. Oh no, we're not. We're making, yeah, 2,730 on all our trades. Which is quite a bit. There you go, tax income is our. Thing. What's the family tree? Bartholomew the first. Right. Okay. So we've got a, a good looking family tree there. I actually double check my ministers. Uh, yeah, we're all fine for ministers. Yeah, we've got all of these massive amounts of sugar and things and everything being transported but there's, there's some of our sugars being blockaded uh, and the ports have been damaged in a few places but that should be sorted next turn because I've just fixed that so right I think we're going to leave it again it's very hands on in this region here Hopefully we'll be able to take it by the end of the episode. Let's end the turn. Okay, so... Oh, we got an agent. Where is he? Ah, he's in Cuba. Alright, that's not, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. We could probably use him eventually. Actually, he might be useful to have um, in America, or maybe even here on here in, in uh, what is it New Andalusia because that could give us some information on what Spain what New Spain has there uh, which would be useful but our army is fully healed now in the French Guyana so we're going to move on to the Dutch one I think should we go for yeah let's go for this timber timber facility See what happens. Nice, we've raided it very nicely. We can't attack them this turn, so I think what we're gonna do is wait for them to attack us maybe this turn. I don't know if they will this turn or not, but um, I don't know, they might do. Hopefully, they don't because it allows us to get the surprise on them. But we'll see what happens. Alright, back on our turn again. 
Should we? Yeah, we'll go straight for them this turn, I think. Yeah, let's go for it. Alright. Looks like it's pretty much balanced. Uh, they refuse to surrender. I might actually just let it run for two turns. Because that will just... That will just be simple. Because, mm. I mean... I won't be replenishing anything. We can... Yeah, we can just sit them there. Swine They've only got two turns to surrender. We'll also put our own navy... To cut them off. Actually, no, we won't. Because they'll get attacked by someone else probably because they're left out in the open because it is absolutely insane how far navies can go and these guys can go that far and I'm at war with them he goes all the way up into Canada from the Caribbean in one turn which is quite ridiculous so I'm uh not gonna mess with that. I think we're just gonna keep saving. We're making a thousand a turn, which is it's pretty good, yeah. And uh, it should should keep us all right for the next couple of turns. Enemy sail spotted. Well, all hands on deck. No, they're fighting us for it. Okay, well, we're gonna get him in a battle, I think. Or I might try auto resolving it. I don't know. Let's see how that works out, actually. Let's see what auto resolve does. Done. Yes, Done. victory! Oh, it's nice to get an auto resolve victory there. <laughs> Alright, so we should be able to just waltz on it in, in there next turn. That'd be nice. We'll just let this one tick over. Hang on a minute. The Ottoman flag is different. They had a change in government. We'll, we'll find out when this turn goes over. But they, it's definitely changed flag. Right, it's back to us again. Let's go back to Europe. What are they doing? I mean, they're the same faction colour, obviously, but... I swear they've changed colour. Well, it looks like Great Britain is taking chunks out of the Barbary states. They've definitely changed colour. Of course, I can't trade or anything with anyone, but I'm at peace with quite a few people. Peace with the Plains Nations, Huron Wide Knot, Mysore, Barbary states, Morocco, Greece, Bavaria likes me. Why do they like me? I probably negotiated something with them, but they apparently like me quite a lot. And I'm really friendly with Crimea, apparently. Huh. Odd. Alright, let's get back to America, and let's get back to conquering. Because now... We should, in theory, be able to just auto resolve it. Glorious yes! Victory. Second victory straight away. We are right in there. In the Dutch Guyana now. It's a good securing. Yeah, we are now making 3,000 a turn. On our way, Captain. That's how oh, massive a difference that makes the gem mine and the gold. Uh, that's been fixed up. Oh, that's awfully kind of the French to do that. Oh no! They've got metalled roads and they've put them in on one of them but I don't have the tech because I can't research anything. <laughs> so the roads here are better than anything I have I ever own anywhere else will be for a very very long time unless we can invade. Oh, if we can get Curaco because there's a town there. That's also I think that's on our list as well. Yeah, it is. That's actually the last thing on our list. So if we can get hold of that 
looks like it's actually being blockaded. Um, but if we can get hold of that, oh, we'll be in the money. We will be in the money. Right. I think we're going to end this one here, guys. And um, thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe for more. Uh, and also leave a comment if you feel like it on what you think I should do next, whether I should go for this final victory point and see if I can get a town or um, go for the mainland again. Um, so yeah, do leave a comment. I am Trickster Fox, and I will see you next time.